So here's the demo. Uh, I have uh, this uh, Kudu uh, dual board, which has got the CPU, uh, ARM-based CPU, as well as Arduino uh, SAM 3X, which is uh, equivalent to uh, Arduino Duo. And I have this uh, ultrasonic uh, sensor, uh, which has a TX as well as RX, which sends a signal out and receives via the RX to, send, uh, to see the distance between the object. And uh, uh, so there are tons of wires connected here. Uh, apologize for that because I have connected some other devices as well. Uh, but essentially it takes four wires. Uh, one is the VCC ground, uh, the extreme left and right are VCC ground. And uh, this one is basically the, uh, the trigger and this is the echo. Uh, this board we have uh, uh, Zephyr uh, Artos running. Uh, which basically drives this particular sensor. Uh, so the quick demo will be uh, okay. So before that, uh, this is my uh, virtual machine where I have where I'll create the uh, Zephyr dot bin. So this bin will have a RTOS as well as the application code uh, to drive this sensor. Uh, this is my uh, terminal from where I will flash it to the board, and this is the serial console we will. Uh, capture all the dumps. Uh, so let's take first step here. This is the code. The code will be available on GitHub. I will share the link. But essentially, what we are doing is uh, I have uh, I am using GPIO pins. So uh, this pin is the out pin which goes to the trigger. Uh, this is the in pin uh, which collects the echo response. And this is for the LED, which I have not connected here uh, because I didn't have them. Right. So uh, in this uh, loop, uh, because it's going to be a nano Zephyr tunnel, so it's just one task. So it basically writes uh, 0, 1, 0, uh, low, high, low onto the trigger pin. So that's when the sensor gets activated. And uh, over here, I basically uh, read the echo. So until I get a, a low on uh, the echo uh, signal. Uh, from here, I capture time. So this is the start time until the echo goes high. So over here, I end. And the difference between the time start minus end time will basically give me the duration. So it's basically we are deriving distance from time. So so this duration will give me uh, the, the distance, essentially the time basically. And with that uh, divided by 58 will basically give me the, uh, the distance. So what essentially I am doing here is uh, uh, if it is in the range and this max range is basically set to 20, uh, centimeters. So if it is in the uh, in the range, then it's roughly in the range, the else part. Uh, otherwise, it is out of the range, and that's pretty much. So this while loop will keep going on forever. Uh, so let me compile this particular code. All right. So we all set. Uh, let me now flash this. Now, if you see the directory here, uh, this is the shared directory between the virtual machine and the Mac uh, uh, machine. So I'm just copying it here. I have copied. <clears throat> this is my term terminal from where I will flash exactly. If you look at the location, it's the same location where I've copied. So <clears throat> this image will basically go to uh, my uh, uh, Dio my board, Arduino Dio board. So before that, uh, I will play a few things. Uh, what I am doing right now is basically erasing the earlier flash and resetting the board. The first jumper is to erase and the second jumper is to reset the board. Now I go and flash the image. I am using Bosa utility to flash the image. The image has been flashed. Uh, so let me now go and connect my terminal. So it's on this particular port. 
a serial terminal is on and i need to reset the board to get the latest flash image all right so this is my sensor uh, i am away from the sensor and that's the reason it is out of range let me go close to the sensor so you can see my hand fine so i am well within the range yeah, that's pretty much. Nice. 